How to play the DIY One Piece board game. It must be played by 2-2 two -two for players. Each player must roll the dice. The highest number will be the first player. The game starts with player 1, then clockwise order. The objective of the game is finding One Piece treasure. First player to reach the One Piece treasure wins. The One Piece treasure must be unknown to the players to add some excitement and thrills. Player 1 must pick card on the deck to know what his move. Then the next player will do the same as player 1 did, and so on. Each card contains different characters and moves. Like how many tiles to move forward. It can also send you backward. Some cards, especially Marines or World Government characters, says captured, meaning the player will stay on his or her position until next round. Some cards says stun the next opponent, meaning the next player will be lose a turn and player will forward one tile. When the player landed on the Devil Fruit, he will have the right to decide whether to pick another card or select which player he wants to attack. When the player choose to attack someone, that player will be lose a turn in the next round. When two players fall on the same tile, they will have a war. Both players need to fight for their position by throwing a dice. Player with high number wins and will stay his or her position, while the lower number lose will go back to the starting point. There are three gates of justice that players need to avoid. The Ennies Lobby, Impel Down, Marinford. When the player fall on these three main gates, they will lose a turn twice. When there are no cards left, yet no winners, the player next to the player who picked the last card will resume the game. The game continues until one player reached the One Piece treasure. Congratulations! You found the One Piece! You are the Pirate King!